Hello everyone. Right, we've done a previous video on leopard tortoises with Leo, so I thought I'd just do one on Horsfields tortoises. Horsfields tortoises, otherwise known as Russian tortoises, um, a good first time tortoise for people who want to get into tortoise keeping. Fairly easy to keep, the management is quite easy. Along, it's very similar to the other Mediterranean tortoises, the Ermans and the um, spur thighs. Generally the curve is, is, is relatively the same. Temperature range 70s to 85, more, slightly more, and they can go lower uh, because of where they, they roam naturally. Uh, they require UV and water. Diet is high fibre, low protein, don't give these chaps any meat. And um, ensure they've got access to calcium, which is going, hang on. Come back. Okay. Um, also you can get you can get calcium supplements as well, uh, which can sp sprinkle on the food. The food, uh, if it's gonna be shot bought, romaine lettuce and kale. Other than that, wild is probably better. If you've got a garden, let them roam like reptilian cows, so things like dandelion, clover, chickweed, plantain, um, they, basically they'll, they'll rummage and they'll, they'll feed themselves. They're very good at that. They're also very good at digging. They like to make tunnels, so just keep an eye on them because you can lose them quite easily and they, quite, they can move quite quickly as well. People think tortoises are slow and they're not. She's moving now and she's not even warmed up, so hang on a minute. So hibernation, um, along with the other Mediterraneans at around 5 degrees, um, ensuring a wind down period to make sure the gut is empty. You don't want any food in your animal when it goes to sleep, that's going to cause you major, major problems. Breeding, produce around 5 eggs, which will take around 60 to 75 days to incubate. And uh, things to look out for, yeah, runny eyes, runny nose, abnormal faeces, shell damage, overgrown beaks, that kind of stuff. And she's off on the move again. Now, as I said, uh, this tortoise's girl, you can see her tail there, which is just um, sticking to her left. It's nice and short. Uh, males have a much longer tail, and we'll have a look at a male in a minute. This one, she's about 25 years old. She's she's full grown, um, so they're not massive tortoises. They are quite stocky and quite heavy, and they're just great, great tortoises. And I can't say anything bad about Horsfields. I think they're, they're just wonderful little guys. So we'll have a look at a male. So here we have a male. Now you can see his tail underneath, curling to the right. She's very long. So he's a lot smaller. He's around the same age as a female, but he's a lot smaller. And uh, the, the males aren't as large as the, the females. Um, but this chap is real fast and he's really full of character. Um, but he's a nightmare. If you're going to keep tortoises, keep females if possible. Unless you're going to look at breeding. Otherwise you're going to keep your males separate. Not house with other males because they will fight. Just for a brief size comparison. So you've got the female on the right with a short stumpy tail. And you've got the male on the left with the long tail. And if you can see the, the size difference is telling. And these animals are around the same age. So they're both 25 plus. And he's off again. So that's your Russians. Male and female. Really easy to keep. Really good tortoises. Really enjoyable to keep. And uh, do you want to have a look at a baby? Right, let's go and get one. So here's a baby. Now he's about two years old. And he's growing along nicely. Uh, nice and slow, because we don't want him to grow too quickly. That causes all kinds of issues. Not sure whether he's a boy or a girl it's a little bit early to tell uh, and there's mum I kept him because he only has one eye so I thought okay we'll keep him so first time tortoises brilliant Horsfield's tortoises you can't go wrong they're quite a plate kind of shape in compared to the other Mediterraneans um, not as big, but they are quite bulky, especially if you get a girl, they're quite heavy. Give them as much space as you possibly can. Outdoors is ideal, um, unless you've got harsh winters, and then bring them indoors. And also hibernate, a lot of people don't hibernate, that's their personal choice. 
personally, I think this is what these animals do in the wild. And if it's done safely and correctly, then risk is a minimal. You know, you, I just, I'll go with that. Now, I've always hibernated my Mediterranean tortoises and I've never lost one yet. That doesn't mean to say I won't do. But that's just my personal choice and I wouldn't tell anybody what to do. But if anybody wants advice on hibernating, then I'll, I'll definitely, definitely give it to them. So that's Horsfield tortoises. And I'm going to let these guys get back to bed because I have quite rudely woken them up to do this. Might even give them a little bit of supper before, before they go. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. A little bit different to Leo the leopard tortoise. The curves are definitely a lot different. And personality wise, they're a lot different as well. If you want a, a tortoise who's outgoing, who will have to seek you out in your garden, then it's horse fields or Russians. Anyway, folks, I hope everybody's okay. Thanks for watching and thanks for all those subscribers. I really appreciate it. And I hope you're all doing well and staying safe. And, and we'll see you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.